So let us pray. Our Father, good evening, who, good evening, good evening. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today yes, our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, in your hands we place this evening. We thank you for bringing all of us together. Lord, as we come together, Lord, we pray, uh, we, we pray that you may open our hearts to your truth. Lord, we come, with a we come with the attitude of little children who wanted to learn, who probably did not know anything. But Lord, in, under, as we sit in your presence to learn your word, we thank you for opening our hearts to your truth. Lord, you have blessed each one of us, Lord, with uh, your grace, as your word says. And thank you, Lord, for allowing this grace to move powerfully in each one of our hearts in our lives. Lord, areas where we are ignorant, we ask you sorry. And we also seek your mercy upon our lives as we, as your word we, that we hear may, may, may break all the strongholds, negative strongholds. And, uh, and through your word, let, your, let, the, let this word, stronghold of your word may be built in our lives that we may lead a victorious life. And we also wanted to thank, especially Lord, we wanted to thank and pray especially for Brother Johnson, for his availability and for his commitment to this group. And also for uh, all, the, all the people who are praying for us and also the priests who are blessing us. We also wanted to especially remember Lord at the uh, leadership of the church for Francis and all the cardinals and bishops and the priests who have dedicated their lives, Lord, for uh, your for your kingdom, and we pray that they may all be inspired by your word, and may lead your folk in the right direction. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Good evening, brother. Good evening. So it's agape love. <laughs> uh, yeah. yes. Praise God. Yes, praise God. So let's go and see what Jesus is how Jesus is operating in agape love. Yeah. And then we have to imitate Jesus. Yeah. So let's go to the catechism uh, 609. Somebody, Marita has got that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got. Yeah. I Today I told her to be ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Just increase the font, Baba, little. Can just increase the font a little. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. I can I can read it, uh, brother. It's not a problem. Yeah. I, I, I want everybody to read, no, brother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. By embracing in his human heart the father's love for men, Jesus loved them to the end. For greater love has no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends. In suffering and death, his humanity became the... F let it be, let it be, Marita. Let it be, Marita, yeah, like Marita, so yeah, that, uh, yeah, yeah it, let, let it be like this, because uh, otherwise it goes out of the screen. In suffering and death, his humanity became the free and perfect instrument of his divine love, which desires the salvation of men. Indeed, out of love for his father and for men, whom the father wants to save, Jesus freely accepted his passion and death. No one takes my life from me, but I lay it down on of my own accord. Hence, the sovereign freedom of God's Son as he went out to his death. Praise God. The first line is saying, by embracing in his human heart the Father's love for man. Yeah. For embracing in his human heart Jesus, the Creator, mm. because of love emptying himself of all glory, being a creator, taking a form of a servant, lowering himself to the image of mankind 
and receiving this human heart from a woman that is his mother mary who also said yes to the call that god had asked her when angel gabriel came and spoke to her not knowing what would be happening because if she says yes and a baby is born without getting married mm. uh, you know pregnant mm. uh, a woman is pregnant without getting married she can be stoned to death mm. so all these things put together mm. jesus taking the form of man mm. his love for man is so much that for the first time in his life for eternity the first time god has become man lowering himself from infinite to limitation and he comes down mm. to this planet earth mm. to save mankind now this is agape love this is not a love on feeling mm. this is not a love on uh, performance mm. and that's what we find in the gospel of john chapter 13 was one what is this agape love the agape love you see is god coming down to earth as man living as man not as god fighting the battle as man and the battle is obedience or disobedience to god willing to take all the battle mm. so that through his love mm. mankind can be saved so it is not of jesus is benefit but the benefit is always about mankind who are destined to go to hell agape love comes on the scene to cancel hell for mankind eternal damnation for mankind and takes all that mankind deserve upon himself so that he can love his creation so much that he can give them salvation as a gift from god and here in 13 verse 1 now before the feast of the passover now jesus is the passover lamb and there's a feast that is going to take place in jerusalem where jesus the passover is going to be sacrificed and even when jesus knew that his hour was come and that he should depart out of this world unto the father now the departure is not like the natural human being who dies out of sickness or disease or accident and all that mm. but this is not a murder this is not a martyrdom but this is giving up a full fledge planned sacrifice and he has to depart from this world unto his father there is only one way and that one way is that he has to go to the cross why the cross because every punishment we deserve he has to pay the price of that so cross. so, so you said it's a full fledged uh, uh, you know uh, sacrifice right yes yes so when it is a full planned brother it right. is a match fixing right right so i uh, so how if uh, if we have to when when we say that you you exercise agape love towards others yes so how yes. does that uh, come to how do we apply that? Uh, that that that's what i'm saying when you understand that jesus came to this planet earth he never came to live his life for himself hmm. he could have definitely lived his life and lived even till today he would have never died hmm. he never lived his life for himself he lived his far life to fulfill his father's mission father's will hmm. so a person who is living in agape love is the one who first understands hmm. the sacrifice that was paid to save mankind and once he understands that what was the price saved uh, paid to be saved now he says lord i do understand hmm. that this body does not belong to me this life does not belong to me nothing belongs to me you are the only source and i belong to you so from now on i don't have any will 
I don't have any desire. I have nothing of my own. Everything that you want is what I will carry out for you. That's agape love. That's exactly what Jesus did on the cross. It was his own will, free will, hmm. that he gives himself to do the Father's will. So, so when you say agape love in our life, it is uh, others uh, oriented, others centered, not. You, you are. No, it's not about others, brother. First of all, uh, it's not nothing to concern about you. Hmm. It's all concerning about Jesus. Okay. Okay. It, it means all this time I've living. I've been living my life, but now I am no longer living my life. I am living the life that God wants me to live. Hmm. Okay, so it's no longer my will; hmm. it is His will. Hmm. And how will I know what is His will? Hmm. All that He has written in His Word is His will. Hmm. If He said, "Love one another as I have loved you," hmm. it is His will. Love your enemies; that's His will. Hmm. Do good to those who hate you; that's His will. Hmm. Bless those who curse you; that's His will. Hmm. Pray for those who persecute you; that's hmm. His will. Hmm. Forgive a person seventy times seven; that's hmm. His will. Hmm. Speak to the mountain; that's hmm. His will. So anything and everything that God has declared in His written word is His will, and now it's no longer what I will, but it is all about what He wills. Mm. So now the life that we live is no longer ours; it is of God, mm. and that's exactly what happened. If you look at the life of the fishermen, they always wanted to have a great life, a great position, and all that. But when they really understood the sacrifice of Jesus. Mm. and the resurrection mm. after that you don't find them interested in the title instead interested in the office interested in the position they are more interested in how can they use their very breath for the kingdom of god they are not like scared of death they are not scared of the family they are not scared of losing anything because they are their mind is full focused on the things which are spiritual and nothing to do with the world Because everything in the world is corrupting, only things that is incorruptible are things of the kingdom of heaven, and that's where the person makes the difference. Now, Paul, on his way to Damascus, he was all all, all about the Pharisees, but when he encountered Jesus, he was ready to give up everything just to receive that one touch from Jesus, mm. and that is agape love. Agape love is not what I want. Agape love is what God wants me to carry out for Him. Yeah. What is God's mission for me? What is God's purpose for me? What is God's assignment for me? And that's why Paul is saying, "Hey, listen, I no longer live. As for me, I've been crucified with Christ. Yeah. I no longer live. The life that I live is not my own. Yeah. It is Christ who lives in me, and Christ who lives in me uses my body, where I have no free will now." I am a bonded slave, giving my will to the to Jesus and saying, "You use my body the way you want. I am mm. willing to give my body totally and completely, trusting you for mm. your kingdom for you." Now that is agape love. That's why agape love has got nothing, zero, nothing to do with with emotions or feelings or desires. It is all about performance. It's all about uh, doing. What has been called to be done, mm. and that's why you see. Uh, look at the first line. He says, uh, uh, "Just go to the CCC again, and then we'll come back over here." Jude, Baba. By embracing now, brother, is it easy to embrace? from being sitting on the throne to come and take a form of a servant no is it easy to be a king the creator and now take the place on the cross no there's nobody in this world who can do that hmm that is called as agape love hmm. because he knows if he doesn't do that the whole mankind is going to hell and the only way to save mankind is that he has to come in a man form mm. fight the battle of obedience and disobedience mm. and see this job is to use mankind 
to come against one man, Jesus, and he cannot use the power as God. He has to use the power as man and fight the battle as man. Mm. That is why he is a son of God. But when he is on earth fighting the battle, he is a son of man. Mm. And he can only use this power after he got baptized by the Holy Spirit. That's when he is moving into the supernatural. That's when he is moving into the mission. But what about the years before that? He is building himself with scriptures. Mm. He has become a scholar by the age of 12. Mm. It's the scripture that is giving him the power, the strength to say yes. Praise God. So by embracing in his human heart, that's a big miracle. Mm. That God, now, now is there any advantage for man and for God to get mankind? No, man was totally in corruption. There was nothing good in man. Hmm. And yet, his love came after this man. Hmm. And this heart, human heart, is filled with the Father's love for man. And that's why the Bible says, God so loved the world hmm. that he gave. So whenever you say agape love, it's not about what you're going to get. Hmm. It's about what is the price that you're willing to give to save the other person mm. with no benefit of your own. Mm. That's God kind of love. Mm. We who live in this world, mm. we are being trained to live on human love, mm. which is a self-centered, selfish, two-sided performance love. Mm. And as long as a person is living on human love, Mm. That person can never ever experience joy and peace because it's temporary. Mm. Because it's based on things seen. Mm. And as long as things seen, things seen are not eternal. They are changing all the way time and they are corrupted all the time and they are passing all the time and they are dying all the time. Mm. It is temporary. So a person whose life is based on temporary, yeah. His, his, his emotions will be also temporary. His belief also will be temporary. But a person whose life is governed by mm. eternal things, which is the word of God, which is the treasures of God, mm. now the person is moving from the natural to the supernatural. And that is why he says the father's love for man. You know, when you read that God so loved the world, mm. You know, when you read that word, the world, we just say the world means we, the world. Mm. You know what the Lord gave me an example? Mm. If you take 20 worst world dangerous criminals, mm. you can't even imagine what they can imagine. Okay. You took only 20. I'm not talking about the whole human race, only 20. Mm. And there you sent one of your family member who mm. is a lady, mm. might be your spouse mm. or might be your daughter. Mm. And you send that person into that room where these 20 are there. Mm. What do you think these 20 will do? They will harm. Harm? Uh, harm? To what limit, brother? Yeah, any limit. It can be... Now, now, understand this. When God is sending his son, he's sending his son to this world mm. where there is not one, not one righteous. Everybody is complete evil. Mm. The forces of darkness, mm. the full kingdom of darkness against mm. one man. Mm. You know, you know. I, I can say when we have that lens and we keep it on the in the sun and we make it very narrow, the paper starts burning. You, you know that light? Right, right. Now imagine the whole force of corruption mm. narrowing down to one person. Mm. So you can imagine what kind of power that is coming against him. And all that, that, that the devil wants is one thing, just one thing. Just once. Mm. Jesus should doubt his father mm. or speak unbelief mm. or commit sin. That's all. Mm. But look at the father's confidence on his son and the son's confidence on the father and the Holy Ghost working together mm. that he comes to this planet Earth to save mankind. And let me tell you, brother, mm. 
Mm. If a person meditates on this, what a scripture, mm. this kind of love has been poured into our heart. Mm. And the love that we are using mm. is a superficial love, not the true God kind of love. Mm. And that's why our life is governed by peace, the next moment into pieces, and then again into peace, and then again into pieces. Whereas when you look at those who are operating in Agape love, mm. whether St. Paul is in the prison, whether he's being whipped, whether Stephen is being stoned, all these people, they had no agenda of their own. They had only one agenda, mm. to operate in love. Mm. And love to the extent that the very ones who are picking up stones to beat Mm. is able to say, mm. Father, please do not hold a sin against them. Mm. And when that agape love was poured, mm. Saul who was standing there, got that seed in him and he encountered Jesus and got converted. So a person who is operating in agape love every day of his life, his life is not natural. It is supernatural. He has no agenda. He has only one thing. God's purpose, God's kingdom, every breath is for my God, mm. nothing for me at all. Mm. Now that's agape love. And this kind of love has been poured into a heart. Mm. Through the Holy Spirit. And that is what in in uh, in uh, Gospel of John 13, 1, just put that again, Baba. Mm. Now, before the feast of the pa Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. Now, he is there sitting, Judas is sitting there, Mm. Peter is sitting there. Mm. All the other apostles are sitting there. Mm. And he knows within few hours, mm. Judas is going to betray him. Mm. Peter is going to deny him. Mm. And all his friends who are with him mm. are all going to run for their life out of fear. Mm. He knows it. Mm. Having known all this, what is Jesus' response to their action? Love. Now, did Jesus love based on their performance? No. Did Jesus still continue to love them? Yes. That night? Yes. Did he taunt them? No. Did he instigate them? No. Did he plead with them? No. Because for Jesus, nobody in this world matters first. The first person that matters to him is my father and my father's will. Mm. And from my father, I receive love because everybody will leave me and go. Mm. But I'm not alone. My father mm. is with me. Mm. Now, brother, yeah. this kind of love has been poured into a heart and it is inside of each one of us. That means you can imagine the potential which is in us, which is not yet touched. Mm. The great treasure that has been poured into us the day we got born again, the day we got baptized in the Holy Ghost, that potential is still untouched. Mm. And the life that we are now living on this earth, which we call as a Christian, is that we have not even touched that agape love. We have all been living a human love and Faith works through mm. agape love and not through human performance. Mm. So you see? Mm. So what is my battle every day? My battle every day is to learn to renew my mind, to grow up, mm. to practice 
this kind of love and when you practice this kind of love what is beautiful about this kind of love it does not matter how the other person treats you what matters is how you treat the other person mm. so the performance is not on others at all mm. the performance is your reply to their performance is agape love mm. and the more and more you live that life the more and more you tap into the potential which is in you which is extremely supernatural mm. and now when you are going and preaching the gospel when you are going and reaching out to the poor the holy ghost begins to manifest with amazing glory because the same fishermen the same fishermen the same people who were failures now when they understood after the resurrection that all that they have is this love and this love has to be shared with others the same people who were scared of their own they were, they were they had so much of love for their life now they have no fear of death why because they are excited about death meaning the moment they die they are going to be with the lord so day and night they have got only one agenda how many souls did i bring to the kingdom of god hmm. how much of love that god has put in me already have i been able to use it for the kingdom hmm. and for others and change people's lives and this people's lives are not changed by preaching but by that agave love that flows while you are preaching yeah. and if that agape love is not tapped into and you are preaching the same sermon it doesn't work because faith works through love mm. faith does not work through human love mm. faith works through agape mm. love mm. so every day the the battle is when negative things happen when affliction happens when all other things come against you how much are you willing mm. to sacrifice yourself with no agenda of your own mm. See, i can have many agendas with nobody knows mm. but i cannot deceive god mm. he knows it all and yeah. when he sees your heart is only interested in agape love mm. your love you are you are only interested in how can my life yeah. be 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 a blessing to others and as jesus so here he is his departure from earth is not a very smooth departure it is one of the horrifying extremely 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 dangerous mm. extremely painful departure mm. and that is a mark of every christian mm. a christian's life is that he has marks mm. of afflictions mm. and oppositions and persecutions and unjust suffering in his life only for one purpose that the gospel be preached as christ preached god was reconciling the world through jesus is preaching of repentance mm. today mm. the same god is using us and given us the ministry of reconciliation that we also go around telling the people of this world mm. to repent and that repentance will come mm. based on the level of agape that i operate in because when you operate in agape mm. the potential which is there inside mm. is extremely supernatural mm. that's why on the first day of pentecost when peter opened his mouth and spoke the hearts were pricked and lives were changed mm. now the question is we have been given the same power mm. but when something comes against us do we quickly activate love or do we quickly activate bitterness mm. and we when we activate bitterness faith has got short circuited because mm. faith works through love everything in the kingdom of god 
operates through now. So the real challenge every day is not how much will my spouse change, but the real challenge is how much will I change to love my spouse irrespective of how he treats me. Mm. That's agape. Mm. Now somebody will say, how is it possible? Mm. It is possible only when you have the true knowledge of God. It is never possible when you are ignorant. Mm. It is never possible if your mind is not renewed mm. to the word of God. And that's why the Bible says, do not be confirmed to this word, mm. but be you transformed. How? By the renewing of your mind. Mm. How do you renew your mind? You renew your mind to the truths, to the teachings of Jesus. Mm. And when you do that, now your body is loaded with agape. Now, I, I, I have got in me agape mm. and I have got in me human love. Mm. Same affliction comes to me. No difference. Mm. I can respond with agape and I can respond with human love. Mm. Well, so when it is human love, my response is based on the other person's performance. When it is agape love, I'm willing to even go to the point of death to give you life. And that's what agape love is. Unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground, mm. that falling into the ground is a deliberate fall to go into the soil. Because if it doesn't fall, it lives by itself. So falling into the ground is so very important. In the same way, my life falling into the ground where I die to myself is extremely important because it, if only it dies, then only it sprouts and brings forth a hundredfold. So you, you are saying that in our life, uh, in, in us, there is agape love and human love. And, yes. uh, and, yes. uh, and yes. you, can, you can keep switching. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, you can keep switching. I, 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 I'll prove it to you. Uh. Go, go, go to Romans chapter 5 verse 1. Romans 5 verse 1. We have finished 1, 2, 3, 4, but I will just take a revision quickly. Yes. Yeah. Brother Reed. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God. Pause, 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 pause. Okay. We are what? Since justified. We are justified, yeah. You know what God is saying? I call you not guilty. Hmm. Justified means your case has been tried and you are found not guilty as if you have never sinned in your life. Mm. How did you get justified? By faith. Faith in what? Mm. In what Jesus did for me Wonderful. on the cross. Yeah. So my justification is not by my works, but my justification is by the works of Jesus in whom I have believed. Mm. Now tell me, brother, in our real life, which one do we focus more? In the works of Jesus for me or my works for Jesus? In my, my works for Jesus. That's where we go wrong. Hmm. People go and do amazing, amazing work in the kingdom of God when they no longer focus on my works for Jesus, but keeps focusing on Jesus' works for me, and therefore I am justified. And because I'm justified, I have no more condemnation. I have no more guilt feeling. I have peace with God. Mm. And that peace with God is through our Lord Jesus Christ. So now that I know I'm justified, now what's the verse 2? Through, through whom, whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we... Pause, pause, pause. If I am not justified, mm. now when God calls me justified, has God made me worthy? Yeah. So if God has made me worthy and I declare I'm not worthy, so am I agreeing to God's word? Hmm. Hello? Yeah, I am not uh, agreeing to God's word. So you are saying... So if that... I'm not agreeing to God's word now, can I get what is given to me as my inheritance? No. So... I, we, we, I'm, I'm, we are all unworthy. Yeah. But by faith, as God declared us justified. Hmm.
So this uh, prodigal son's return, no? Prodigal son's mm -hmm. return. When he came and told the father, Father, I'm not even worthy to be called your son. Treat me correct, as a king. Correct, correct, correct. So, so that, that unworthiness, ex unworthy expression of a prodigal son. Correct. Uh, so uh, what... So the, he, did he remain unworthy all his life? No. Or did the father made him worthy by putting a rope of righteousness on him? Ah, okay, okay. See, if the son remains unworthy, he is not even he is not even qualified to be a son. He will live like a servant then. What's then a servant? He is a thief. Yeah, right. But the father qualified him and gave him the rope of righteousness. Right. Yes. He gave him the authority ring. Yeah. He gave him sandals on his feet. Yeah. He gave him right. the title of sonship. Yeah. So in the same way, through Jesus, we have obtained what? access to this grace. Now, what is grace? Grace is not given to a person who is qualified. Grace is given to a person who is disqualified. Yeah, unqualified. Yeah. So, now that I'm disqualified, has God qualified me to receive grace? Yes. So, when a person has received grace, is he still failure or he has been passed because of the grace? He's been passed. So, have I passed because of the grace? Yes. So, now that I've passed because of the grace, do I stand praising and rejoicing and, 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 and dancing and celebrating. Yes. Now see what he says. We boast in a hope of sharing the glory of God. Mm. You know, God is not only that. He's saying, he has restored in me so much that when I open my mouth and speak, having seen my past, I don't, discuss, I don't, dis, I don't qualify to open my mouth and any signs and wonders to take place. But, but because of what Jesus did for me, God is glorified through my body, mm. through my life. Mm. I don't know about anybody. Mm. I get excited because the creator mm. comes and confirms what I'm speaking from the word of God with accompanying signs and wonders, just like that. Mm. The spirit bears witness to my spirit mm. that what is declared in his word, when I believe it and I speak it, mm. his spirit confirms the word with accompanying signs and wonders according to Mark 16, 20. Mm. That excites me daily. Mm. Now, this is the plus side. Mm. Now, let us see the minus side. Hmm. Look at verse 3. And Just look at verse 3. And not only that... Now, now, now this, this is what agape love is. Now look at verse 3. Okay. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings. Ah. Knowing now we that... also boast in our sufferings. Hold on, hold on. Ah. We also boast in our sufferings. Now, for no reason, Paul is being arrested. Peter hmm. is being arrested because they are preaching. They are not, they are not criminals. Yeah. They are doing something good. But yeah. the ones who are jealous mm. have, have given wrong witness mm. and they want to be, they, they want these people to be dead. Mm. Now, when there is an unjust suffering mm. and uh, they are going to be punished, they are going to be whipped, they are going to be uh, tortured. Mm. Now, do you find these people in the midst of suffering, accusing them cursing them, or extreme agape love flowing from them. Extreme extreme agape love flowing through them. So are they, are they tapping into that agape love which has been poured into them? Yeah. Yes. So in the midst of suffering, are they becoming more and more rich in their spirituality? Yes. Yes. But at the same time, when they are operating in agape love, are they becoming more and more poor in the spirit? Yeah. Yes. Because when a person is rich in the spirit is pride. A person who is poor in spirit is humble. Yeah. So he is becoming poor in spirit, but extremely, extremely high in virtues of spirituality. And where did he get, where did he learn this? He learned it in the midst of suffering. So, because so, in the midst of suffering, there are two, two choices. Hmm. Either I do it God's way, I do it world's way. If I do it world's way, I end up operating in the flesh. If I do it God's way, I learn things that I never knew before. 
So, so it is uh, to operate in love, in agape love. Uh, you, you said it happens through the knowledge of God. Yes. Right. That that is the only way you can increase in the love of God. Right. Absolutely. Others, you won't know what is right and what is wrong. Yeah. So all these people who have uh, experienced uh, or rather displayed all the saints, brother, all the saints know. Yeah, they knew all they the grew saints, the knowledge of they, God. They, they have got such a knowledge. See, see, they have got such revelation, such understanding mm. that even if somebody has to chop up the head, mm. they will still say, Father, forgive him. Please do not hold his sin against them. Mm. Because they know that every drop of blood mm. flowing from agape love mm. is destroying the work of Satan. Hmm. The person who is having extreme intimacy with God yeah. will have extreme relationship on the horizontal side. Hmm. If your vertical line, vertical relationship is weak, hmm. it will show up in your horizontal line. Hmm. See, if your horizontal line is bitterness and jealousy, hmm. it is a proof hmm. that you are not walking in obedience to God. Ah. Right. Whoever you are, yeah. No matter whatever comes against you, mm. the moment you are in agape love, you are submitting to God and saying, God, what do you want me to do? Yeah. You want me to run away from you? Mm. Or you want me to die? Mm. You want me to do something? Whatever you want, you give me the instruction. I'm ready to do. But God will never give a person an instruction mm. that will go against love. Mm. That is beautiful, brother. So this is, so this knowledge of God is uh, is the is the key if we wanted to grow in agape love. And, and knowledge of God is one thing, mm. and experience is second thing. Mm. So when you go through first serving, first suffering, mm. you did not know how it works. Yeah. So you did what the Word of God says from the Bible, yeah. and you got an experience. Mm. Second time you did again, you did the same. Mm. Third time again, you did the same. Now you know what you got. Mm. Quoting after quoting after quoting of the truth. Mm. Now you have become like a brick that is put in the furnace mm. and the brick is hardened. The clay, mm. the clay has to be put in the furnace to become a brick. Mm. In the same way, now you are a Christian who has gone into the furnace and come out as a true Christian loaded with agapela. Mm. So suffering is extremely profitable mm. when you use it in God's way. Mm. Extreme uh, suffering is extremely a disaster mm. when you use it the devil's way. Mm. Mm. That is, uh, so, so with suffering comes what? Knowing that suffering produces what? In endurance. Endurance. Means a person who is enduring irritates the devil so much mm. that the devil goes crazy. And that is what happened with Satan when it came to Jesus. Mm -hmm. No matter how much it instigated Jesus to get into disobedience, mm -hmm. Jesus endured it all with joy. Mm -hmm. He did not endure it with frustration. He endured it with joy. And Satan goes crazy. It goes into confusion if a person has got joy. Mm -hmm. Because when a person has got joy and peace, the mind is at rest. That means the mind is only focused on what God says, is not focused on the circumstances, is not focused on this, is not focused on that, is not even interested in his own life, is only interested in what God said. Yeah. You know, why do we do all the blunders? Because we are loving our life too much. Mm. And that's why Jesus said, the one who loves his life will surely lose it. Mm. And the one who loses his life for my sake mm. will find life means what when i lose my selfish life or self-centered life i now discover god kind of life that jesus came to give in abundance mm. so every day the challenge is how quickly am i willing to die to my life mm. and how quickly am i willing to renew my mind to learn to love mm. And this learning to love is not a feeling. It's not, a, it's not an emotion. It is my choice. Mm. And that is why in the midst of suffering, there is endurance. Endurance in what? With one passion. Mm. Just one passion. Mm. This is what I've called to do. 
and I'm not getting involved in anything in this world. I've got nothing to do. Mm. I've got only one job to do. And that one job I'm going to do to the best, not looking at any of my benefits. It doesn't mean to, somebody calls me a fool, somebody calls me a crook, somebody calls this, somebody calls that. It does not matter. Why? Because I am connected to the source and the source loves me and bears witness with me that I am his child with signs and wonders. My life becomes supernatural. I'm no longer living a natural life. A person operating in agape love can never ever live a, a natural life because the results are never natural. They are always supernatural. But the power that is using is supernatural. Mm. So this endurance builds up what? A new character. character yeah. So now that character is come in what? with all that squeezing, with all that opposition. And now that character is getting developed because the person is doing exactly what the word of God is doing. And now when the character is building up more and more, the word of God has become flesh in this person. Mm -hmm. And the more and more the word of God has become flesh, he has hope. Mm -hmm. God gives him hope. And that hope does not disappoint that person. That hope is what keeps him as an anchor to his soul that is never disappointed with all that he sees. His hope is that I am going to go to the finishing line because God loves me. So he has poured his love in me. Look at that. Look at that. With us. Yeah. Because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. So this You know what's the biggest problem, brother? Uh, this love has no emotions. This love has no feelings. Mm. This love cannot be sensed by your senses. Mm. But this love exists in your heart. And the only way to operate this love is in 1 John 2.5. When before, a person... before going there, before going there, this hope of which you mentioned, so yes. if it is in the last uh, of the chain of uh, suffering produces endurance, produces character, produces hope. So this hope comes only at the last part of the, the chain. The hope, the hope of finishing your your mission. Okay. Your hope becomes extra. Now, brother, I I'll, I'll let you know. When I started my journey, do you think I started my journey to do what I'm doing today? No. no. I came because I wanted to be healed. Yeah. Okay. I got healed. Then I wanted to be blessed. Mm. I got blessed. After I got blessed, after I got healed, then came, I want to live for Christ. Mm. Now, when I came on to that, I want to live for Christ, that agape love showed me so much of treasures of heaven that the treasure of this world became extremely useless. Mm. Brother, again and again, I want to tell you, if you listen to me, let me tell you again. Out of all that I receive from God, 97% mm. is given back to the kingdom of God. Mm. And the reason I put that is because I don't have any expenses. Mm. Yeah. Now, when I don't have my own agenda, mm. but I've got only agenda of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. now, mm. now, now, when I don't expect anything for myself, but I'm expecting all in the kingdom of God, what's my hope? My hope is that before I run out of time, mm. I have to finish the mission and the assignment that God has given me. And before I reach the finishing line, I have to raise up so many warriors who will be doing the work that I'm doing. Yeah. Because if I make them slaves of myself, I failed miserably. Yeah. But if I have trained them that yeah. they can chase God and they also become warriors with a hope that does not disappoint them, I have raised up ambassadors in different continents of the world and they are doing the same what I'm doing. Mm. Yeah. Right. And that hope does not disappoint me because mm. I can take it, I can see it's taking shape every day. Every day it's taking shape. If you tell me, 
uh, are the resources there? No, but that hope is there. Now, because of that hope, I'm going in different direction. I'm going to the Adivasis, I'm going to the street, I'm going to the Africa, I'm going here, I'm going. And the channel which is already set up, I'm giving it to somebody else to run and saying, you, you do this job because I don't have time to be here. So now you look after this, what God has given us, and you raise it up to the next level, and you raise up some warriors now, by, by the time I go and find a new, 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 new place mm. where the gospel is not preached. Yeah. So uh, how can we not take uh, God's love for granted? Sorry, sorry? How can we not take God's love for granted? Because this love cannot be felt, no brother? Mm. This, mm. this love has got no feeling. Mm. This love can be tasted only when you die. Mm. I, I, okay, let's put it this way. I've got a wall here. Mm. I, I do not know what's on the other side of the wall. Right. Correct? Right. So God says, if you're willing to die, I will show you what's on the other side. Mm. But I'm saying, no, Lord, what I'm seeing on this side is so good. So let me keep this with me. And what I don't understand is what God wants to give me on the other side is so much like an ocean. Mm. So my self-centeredness is my biggest enemy when operating in agape love. Mm. So my enemy is nobody outside. My enemy is my own self who that is drawing me to become self-sufficient. That is becoming self-dependent. That is becoming self-centeredness. Yeah. The day a person becomes self-sufficient, that's the dangerous moment in a person's life. Because then he's no longer depending on God. Hmm. And God always wants you to be God dependent. Hmm. Hmm. And, and when you look at Jesus, in spite of all that anointing and everything, hmm. he was all the time hmm. father dependent. Hmm. And he is teaching us that we got to be all the time God dependent. And in this 24 hours is my currency and God has given everybody 24 hours. Now the question is, where do you invest your 24 hours? And I and, I, and the question is, where do I invest my 24 hours? So wherever you are investing is what you're getting. Where I'm investing is what I'm getting. Mm. So I cannot say, so, God, you did not bring your plan to pass. He said, I have given you the freedom to choose. You invested your time in the things of the world. And therefore, after all these years, you got the treasures of the world. Whereas the other one ran in a different direction uh, using his currency after mm. souls, and after after a few years, he, he has become a champion in building up the kingdom of God. Mm. Everybody so has been given 24 hours, brother. Yeah, yeah. And that is the currency where each one is going to make the investment. Mm. So if you find the treasures of heaven is very, very, um, very, very precious to you, then you are using your time in that direction. Mm. Right. Because the world wants you to use that currency in the world mm. and keep you engaged in the world mm. till you become 60 and you retire. Mm. And he has taken the best of the best of your life mm. to build up the treasures of this world. Mm. Just think about this. Just think for this. One priest mm. makes a decision mm. that I give my life to Jesus. Mm. And he uses his treasure mm. to build the kingdom of God. Yeah. That one priest can touch mm. millions. Mm. Why? Because he decided that I want to use this treasure for this purpose. Mm. Right. So everybody has been given the choice. Mm. And, our, and, and, and our whole life is about where am I searching for treasure? Mm. What is your treasure? Hmm. I'm a businessman, man. I used to always count money. Yeah. And I had seven factories, brother. I, I, I had tremendous business. Hmm. And even now, my mind runs for business so quickly. Hmm. But at the same time, now my mind is running for business for souls. Hmm. So where am I using my currency? Sometimes yeah. people find me sleeping in the class. Yeah. I'm using my time. Might be I, I spend, uh, say, I preach for 
two hours and in the two hours, five minutes, I must have spoken something when I, I was sleepy. Okay. But mm. the next 150, uh, whatever. Uh, One hour, 50, 55 minutes. Yes. I used it for God's kingdom. So what am I doing? I'm not allowing the grace of God to go wasted mm. because it's going to bring profit somewhere. Yeah. You know how much the devil is irritating me because every day I'm going and starting, I'm putting more pressure on the Hindi channel, the Hindu channel, mm. because now I've given the whole channel of global to mm. my, my students, all mm. my children. And I said, now you all run the channel. I'm going somewhere else. Mm. And I'm going all out after the Adivasis and all this, because mm. this is where God has called me after the lockdown. Mm. So I am already planning in that direction. So I don't have time for this. But this is very comfortable, brother. Mm. But now, leaving the comfort zone, why do you want to go to the Adivasis? You might even be killed. You might even be uh, persecuted. You might be even going to the prison. But that's where the real souls are. Mm. Yeah, your calling is uh, very, you know, once you discover your calling, then there is... Yes, no yes. Yeah. So, so it, is, it is a discovery. Mm. It's a discovery. And once you discover it, you... Have tasted the Lord now, nothing in this world matters to you. Mm. So, where See, do we start, brother? <laughs> brother? Brother, tell me, how did you end up becoming what you are today? Yeah, I didn't if plan. Apple, if I'm all... <laughs> yeah, we started like that. Uh, so, ah, I'm so, just uh... so, so in the same way with the scriptures, you know, you know, brother, who is the one who grows fast, mm. the one who learns and teaches others as well. Mm. The more, see, you learned 10 mm. and you went out and preached and taught 8 mm. out of 10. Mm. So what you are receiving, you are giving 8. Mm. When you start doing that on a daily basis, everything in your life will begin to change. Mm. Yeah. Did you hear me? Got it. Did you hear me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's a phone call coming, that's why I was not sure. Yeah, yeah, we heard, yeah. So, so now you begin to realize this agape love is not a feeling. Mm. This agape love is going after God forcefully, deliberately, mm. violently mm. on my own choice. Mm. Yeah. Huh? Yes. And, and, and you know, when it is agape love, no brother, you don't have any interest of your type. Mm. You're not even interested what people call you, mm. how much people love you or people don't love you. It doesn't matter because your whole source is God loves me. Mm. The others are all channels. Mm. God is only the source. And when you, when you understand that I am supposed to be connected to the source and not the channels, everything changes. Mm. God has to bring the channels. I'm not in search of the channels. I'm in search of the source. Yeah. Put that CCC. I'm, brother, I, I got stuck to that first paragraph of CCC. I did not even go further. Yeah. If I just put that 609, brother, Jude. Baba Jude. Please. Yeah. Six zero nine CCC. Brother, this mm. is my twenty third year or twenty fourth year. Twenty mm. third year or twenty fourth year. If you ask me from morning till night, what do I do? I tell you this. Mm. Now, did I choose to go this direction? Yes. So everybody has got the freedom to choose. Mm. And because I chose this, I discovered this truth. Mm. Read that again. Jesus freely embraced the Father's redeeming love. By embracing in his human heart the Father's love for men. Mm. Jesus loved them to the end. Jesus loved them to the end. How much do we love to the end? 
or in between hmm. when there is a friction what happens to our love yeah. yeah it goes up and then he gives you the answer for greater love has no man than this that a man lay down his life for friends so so greater love is that person who one minute i'll just tell that person so um jesus is giving us an example mm. in uh, jesus the true wine mm. in the gospel of john 15 i think verse number 18 just put that 1518 if the no, world no 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 not this not this uh uh go down go down 21 where is it thank you jesus somewhere it is there in true wine just go just go up go slow go slow ah no one yeah there 13 okay Just, just, just go on the twelve. Then we'll get the thirteen. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. No, 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 no. <laughs> that you love one another hmm. as I have loved you. Hmm. How has Jesus loved us? By giving up his life for us. Was it agape love? Yes. And how are we supposed to love one another? That's with agape love. And how do we love one another? With human love. Huh? With human love. So will a person ever experience what God wants to give him? Mm, no. Mm. Now take an example. Was mm. Joseph in the old covenant mm. operating in agape love? Yeah. Now what you see the heroes in the Bible were they operating in agape love? Yeah. So what is agape love? Agape love is when a person is keeping God's word. Mm. So the Bible says, "Love one another, not as human, but as the Lord has loved us." Now, the Lord has loved us when, when we were sinners, or when we changed. When we sinners. So, were we are of any benefit to Him? No. But did He yet love us? Yeah. In the same way. in the same way how are we supposed to love one another are we going to look at whether this person is a benefit to me or even if this person is not a benefit to me should i still continue to love this person for this to happen this to happen in our uh, in our action our uh yeah coming coming to the same thing of knowledge of who we are brother without brother without i say okay let me put it this way even if you get the knowledge hmm it will not happen why even if you get the knowledge it will not happen because knowledge is not enough the power to do is also important because the, man by his own strength cannot do it how do we get the power by the by the holy spirit that power is called as grace Mm. and grace gets multiplied by the knowledge now mm. listen to this mm. by the knowledge grace by itself cannot save you uh grace to faith when mixed with your faith, faith. Mm. is what makes the power manifest mm. so unless you cooperate with grace grace can never save mankind mm. so the written word of god cannot save anybody not bring healing or deliverance to anybody until the person with a body mixes his faith to that grace then only there is manifestation mm. Mm. so when i begin to meditate on mm. how much has god forgiven me mm. how much has god loved me how much has god done so many things in me mm. then only 
I realize that what God has done in me is so much and what God is asking me to do in somebody's life is nothing. Mm. When I began to realize, brother, if God had not to save me, I would have been in some mental hospital or I would have been dead. Mm. But because he saved me, because he healed me, because he empowered me and he gave it to me everything free. Now what happens to me? I've received it free. Why should I charge by it to anybody? Mm. And that is why right from the beginning, I did not put any price tag on anything that God gave me. Yeah. Because I realized the price that he paid for me is beyond anybody and nobody can repay. Mm -hmm. And if I got that from him, that treasure, what is this treasure? Nothing. Yeah. So it is only when you understand what you have been given and what you now been given freely, now you are willing to give that same to others freely, not charging anything for what you have received. And what I have received freely, I have received it freely. And now he's saying, can you give that freely throughout the day and night? So in a day, in a day, uh, how many, uh, if you have to just, uh, I'm, I'm just uh, asking for, uh, just for understanding purpose, not for anything else. How many times uh, have you, or do you fail in practice? In, in practice or doing agape love? In sorry, sorry, sorry. How many, how many times in a day uh, do you uh, practice agape love or you fail in not practicing agape love? Brother, it, it is an imperfection that we are in. And I know, I'm day. just uh, wanted to understand uh, in, a, in a person's brother, life. Brother, 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 agape love is simple. How much of, how much are you going out of your way to wipe somebody's tears. Hmm. How much are you ready to become uncomfortable to make somebody comfortable? So you, you, there is no measuring scale. It is, it is the spirit of God who makes you move. Hmm. Now, now, for example, today, after I finish all these classes at midnight, Melbourne will start. And then again, Canada will start. And by the time I finish, it's nine o'clock in the morning. Now I'm still preaching and I'll finish at nine o'clock in the morning. Now, if you ask me, how much are you uh, going to do it? It's, it's that love that makes you go and do it. Mm. And, then, and then I finish that. And then tomorrow, again, it will start at around uh, three o'clock. Yeah, why, why am I yeah, so I am asking this is, uh, see, in a, in a situation, see, all of us are, you know, living in families in, you know, in close to circums, close to, you know, kind of uh, uh, set up, right, atmosphere. So in there, in, in that, uh, in that uh, setup, uh, we uh, have great opportunity to practice agape love. But uh, it can also happen that, you know, it can fail. So, Definitely, it will fail. No, no, it will fail. Will fail. No, 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 I understand it will. It will fail. I am uh, concerned about uh, you know how many times not it fail. How many times you are able brother, to? Brother, brother, you are going to ask me how long, how much time it will take to become a cricketer? How much yeah. time it will take to no, become no, a footballer? How be much a... time, it will... brother? All this is one's own practice, brother. Yeah. If you ask me how, how will a person become a table tennis player, what will I say? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I understand that question is not a very, uh, you know, uh, not no, a good what question, I'm trying to say, brother, the key factor is, are you doing it for your benefit? Mm. Are you doing it for God? Yeah. Simple. If you're doing it for God and you don't have your own agenda, the mm. only agenda you have is I want to live for God and I want to do it for God. Mm. See, if I'm expecting something from my loved ones mm. and I don't get that expectation met, I'm angry. But I'm not yes. expecting anything from my loved one. Believe me. Hmm. I'm not even expecting a thank you from anybody. Hmm. Because when my expectation is not there from you, hmm. then where is the problem? I don't have any problem. Hmm. So you the condition problem, you condition your mind? Uh, you, you, you condition yourself to the word of God. That's why for me, uh, I, don't, I don't know, brother, for anybody what it is. 
this word of God has changed my life. Right. I have not changed my life. Mm. Like somebody, I asked that somebody, he used to drink day and night. Mm. So I said, when did you stop drinking? Mm. He said, brother, honestly speaking, I've not yet stopped drinking. Mm. I said, I, I asked him, that means you're drinking now? He said, no, I have not stopped drinking. The alcohol has left me. <laughs> I said, what do you mean by alcohol has left you? Brother, honestly speaking, I started studying the word of God. That alcohol left me. I have not yet left alcohol. Uh. So are you, are you understanding what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you are yeah. studying the word of God day and night, the love of God is so strongly flowing into your whole system mm. that when the enemy comes, at once you are with a stronghold already built up in your system mm. that I'm not going to react, I'm going to reply. Mm. So it is no longer tit for tat. Mm. It is now what you did to me Mm. I'm going to pass this test by operating in love, by praying for you and doing something for you. Mm. So what is your assignment? The one who is coming to steal and destroy the love of God is the soul that God has given you as an assignment to win for the kingdom of God. Yeah. So it is just like, brother, it is just like a person coming and saying, to you, Brother Jose, I love you with agape love, mm. that actually speaking, I don't find any fault in you. Mm. So, so you mean to say, Jose, you don't have any faults? There are faults, but I, 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 I can't see those faults, brother. I can only see an opportunity to love you even more than before. Mm. What, now tell me, what do you see about Mother Teresa? Mm. Mother Teresa loved. Simple, simple. She mm. could see Jesus in everybody. Mm. So no matter who accused her, who spat on her, who did whatever they did, what was her response? Was it retaliation? Was it fight? No. And that can come with that fellowship with the Lord. It can never come with any other thing. Mm. So somebody Lord, is saying, so in mm. this context, somebody is saying uh, about you, okay, it is the anointing of God in Brother Johnson that he keeps speaking the word of God even in his sleep. Now, having said this, uh, this anointing is uh, equal for everyone, right? Yes, yes. I, I, it is just like a cricketer who has practiced day and night to mm. play cricket. Mm. So, for me to practice this, did I have to give up everything? Yeah. So, it is, it is not actually give up everything. What is more precious to you, you mm. have gone after it. Yeah. Now a person who is an athlete, uh -huh. for him that running that 100 kilometers, mm. let's say, is more precious to him and is mm. running every day 100 kilometers, okay? Yeah. Now somebody comes and says, Baba, you don't run 100 kilometers, man, you need some rest. Uh, take care of yourself, man, what you're running 100 kilometers. Now his target is to get a medal for, for the country 100 meters. Now mm. a person who has not run is coming and giving you advice and telling him what you're running 100 kilometers because he himself cannot run one kilometer. Mm. So for him, what will he see this man 100 kilometers running? He say, you'll go, you'll die, man, on the way. Mm. Why is he saying he will die? Because he'll die. Mm. But what about the person who has who has uh, prepared his body, mm. who has practiced his body to mm. go for 100 kilometers? Yeah. Now, for example, I was fly, I was swimming before mm. in my young days. Mm. Uh, five kilometers every day I used to swim. Mm. Now if you tell me, I will not be able to complete 100 meters. Mm. Why? I've left my practice. Mm. In the same way, your agape love is not that you practice once and you will complete it every day. Mm. No, no, no. Every, every, day. Day, every day is your practice. Mm. And every day, you have many people coming into your life to practice. Yeah. So these people who come against you are the real best people in your life who will train you and make you better person, better character, and promote you to the next level. Mm. If these people are not there, you have no promotion, brother. Mm. <laughs> so when you look at somebody as an enemy, another person will look at it as an opportunity to become better. Yeah. So for somebody, a problem is with a victim mindset. Mm. For a person who is a champion, a problem is, I'm going to learn something new this time. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's go and do it. And you're going to teach me something new. Mm. See? 
it's the way you look at it hmm. and one one uh, i'm just uh, you know i'm just thinking aloud so one uh, reason why that can stop you from doing it is 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 a fear of uh, hurting your ego isn't it the biggest uh, your our biggest enemy is pride self centeredness is pride hmm. when your self centeredness dies everything in your life becomes agape hmm. your biggest enemy is nobody else but yourself yeah and the quicker you die to yourself then uh, there is no problem then you don't have any enemy yeah because your self wants to satisfy hmm. with whatever is carnal hmm. and once you crucify yourself there is nothing to satisfy of carnal now you are satisfying everything in the spirit yeah and that is why jesus say no one has greater love mm. than this mm. to lay down his own life mm. to lay down his own life for one's friend now what is life to okay. lay down his own life so what is life <coughs> what is life life is uh, everything that you have life is the sum total of my thinking my words my feelings yeah. my desires my actions mm. my patience the sum total of all that put together is my life so if my thinking is ungodly what would be my life ungodly mm. my thinking is full of self centeredness what is my life self centeredness right yeah selfishness my 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 uh, my thinking is lust what is my life lust are you understand yeah. now my life is all about the word of god mm. so now what is my life yeah godly godly okay so if you want to know what is your life just check in a whole day what do you think mm. how much do you think on god's word that's your life because whatever you are thinking mm. is what is being processed and what is going to come out of your mouth and what is going to come out of your mouth is what you are believing and it will be followed with action in no time mm. yeah that is beautiful so every day every day when jesus says his greater love is to lay down one's life so lay down one's desire Mm. for one's friend mm. so if i say jesus i love you mm. and you are my best friend the next moment jesus says what's the proof mm. see a human being is you did this for me that's why i love you mm. but look at jesus you did not do this for me mm. and yet i love you mm. you rebelled against me but yet i love you mm. you hated me and crucified me and yet i love you mm. now he's saying you are my friends yeah. when am i jesus is friend if i do what he commands me to do mm. so every day what is my test my test is very simple how do i use my time called currency in my 24 hours mm. am i investing in the kingdom of heaven am i investing in the kingdom of my family mm. am i investing in my own kingdom mm. wherever i am investing my currency every day that is going to be my future so even simple the secret of my future is in my daily routine mm. what do i do every day is going to be my future mm. if i'm only playing games that's going to be my future if i'm going to study the word and live by the word that's going to be my future i mean so let us uh, open up for questions uh, if any any questions yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. are there any questions uh, anybody would like to ask uh, please uh, raise your hands and un- unmute yourself How, how many of us believe brother roman said that you and just put that roman said that you want before somebody can ask come and ask just put that roman said that you want 
Hello, brother. Good evening. Yeah. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Brother, good evening, brother. I have a question. Yes. Sir, having believe in myself with faith. Sorry. And having believe in myself with faith. I have like to inform you that I have some problem. I have some dues from my department. Department. And about that, I am patiently waiting for last 16 years. But nothing has come to the fruit. And recently, one diary has been lost in National Human Rights Commission. So, so I hope that I want that my mm, pending dues to be released. This is the question. My wife is suffering from cancer. I am in need of very much urgent money. Did you get this question right, uh, Ju uh, Jos? Yeah, yeah. My so he, yeah, so he has got some pending uh, payments uh, due from his department, which okay. he is working. And okay. uh, yeah, so he is asking uh, for prayers. Okay, that's that's okay. But yeah. I want to say something, brother. Yeah. Uh, in my life also, when I lost everything, there were a lot of things which were pending. Mm. And uh, after I became all right, the Lord began to ask me, uh, what do you have your own? And I said, nothing. Is the house yours? I said, no. Is the money yours? No. Is this body yours? No. Is this life yours? No. Then whose it is? Lord, you purchased it on the cross by taking my place on the cross. So the day I realized that I know own nothing. Now it became very easy. I don't have to be owner. I am not a owner of anything. Not even my life. So who owns it? The Lord owns it. So who are you? I'm only his manager to keep to to see to it how I distribute it. So when I'm working in the company, uh, Joe, brother Joe's, mm. when you are working in the big big position. Did you have to check sign the checks? Yeah. So whose money it was yours or companies? Companies. So did you have any problem signing crores of rupees when no. the, the, the company demanded? No. B because anyway, the money was not yours, right? Yeah. Now, can you say, no, 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 I'm not going to sign. This is my money. <laughs> no, no. So also, <laughs> everything in your account is not yours. You're only a steward. Yeah. The day you understand it, then there's no problem. Yeah, yeah. So Nirutam's uh, background is also the fact that he comes from a you know non-Christian background. So uh, Nirutam so, Ghosh. So I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what he needs to do. Hmm. What he needs to do is first believe that he is a steward, hmm. and God is his creator, hmm. and God owns everything. Hmm. And now tell the Lord, Lord, you supply all my needs. So now I'm going to bless the person who has blocked my money. Unless he lets him go, the money will not be released. So when he begins to bless that person who has blocked his money, okay, he is using a spiritual force called agape love. And Satan who has been using this fellow to block his money, Satan has no more grip over that person. So his agape love will release the person and that person will get freedom and the money will come in no time. Neritam, did you and understand? And, and, and yes, second yes, thing, sir. he has to write it in a paper, yes, receive money in full. Mm. Okay? And keep thanking Jesus, that Jesus, this is my vision, and this is my desire. And Mark 11, 24 says, whatsoever you desire, when you believe, believe, mm. when you pray, believe you have received it, and you shall have it. So Lord, I thank you the payment transaction has been completed. I thank you and I praise you. Now, when he's doing these two things, things will open. But if you look at his life, he's doing exactly opposite from the last 16 years. Hmm. Can we can we pray for him, my brother? His wife also yes, is sure, suffering. Sure, we can pray. Father, yeah. in the name of Jesus, we ask you, Lord, to turn this affliction into a glorious testimony. And Lord, let this brother not seek the money, but seek you. And when he's seeking you, Lord, 
he himself will see the greatest treasure is not the money, but the greatest treasure is you. And when he seeks you and your kingdom and your righteousness, as you said, the heavenly father will supply everything else. So I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, the person who has blocked the money, we forgive that person, we bless that person, we release that person in the name of Jesus. And also, Lord, we thank you that we made this vision that according to Mark 11, 24, whatsoever you need to pray that he has received it and he shall have it. So we thank you in advance. The payment has been done. The payment has been received in full in the glorious and mighty name of Jesus. Thank you and praise you for this breakthrough in the glorious and mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. So last question, last question. Uh, John and Malin, would you like to uh, uh, ask a question? John? John and Malin? They've raised their hands. So John and Malin? They are not responding. Uh, uh, who else is uh, jo jo Johannes uh, Dias? Wanted to, yeah. Hello. Yes, yes. Please speak. Hello, my wife. Yeah, my wife. Next to me. Me, Pinni. I just pray. Just pray the dialysis may not be there for the more. No, we can't Hello? hear you. Uh, we, can, we cannot hear you properly. Uh, Hello. Hello, my wife is next to me and she is suffering from kidney related problems. Okay. She is put on dialysis. Kindly pray, pray for her that God may heal her completely without no further dialysis. Okay. Brother, can you... Now, the demand that he has made is not the truth. So, so before I play, he must come to the knowledge of the truth. So yeah. take his phone number. My warriors will go after them, yeah. tease them, and get them that uh, wife healed. Yeah. So, Joan, sir, can you just uh, text me your uh, mobile, your number, your contact number? Yeah, and in what number should I text you? Yeah, yeah, you, you tell me, you tell me the number, please. 961. 961. Once again, 961. Yeah. 94. Yeah. 2. Okay. No, no, no. You repeat it? Yeah, you repeat it? 961. Yeah. 961 9492. Okay. 961 961 9492. Okay. So somebody will get in touch with you. Okay. Thank you so yes, much. From the team, from the team we will get in touch with you. Yeah, sure. Thank I will you. call him. I will call him. Okay. Thank you, Fatima. Okay. So, brother, we'll close it uh, with a prayer, brother. Loving Father, we thank you, Lord. This is just the beginning of an introduction. And I thank you, Lord. It is you who made this teaching so very interesting and so very beautiful because your word is the truth. And every day is a challenge for all of us, Lord. How are we using our time, whether it is a selfish ambition or it's a kingdom ambition? Father, thank you through this word you are teaching us that a person can live the most high life, a high calling, a high destination that you have, or the same person can get into lustful desires and end up his life in misery, even though the calling on his life is so high. Thank you for showing us that you have given to each one the same 24 hours, given to each one the same Holy Spirit, the same word of God, everything the same, but what differs is each one's response to what you have given. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that each one will make that quality choice 
to seek you with all their heart and be a blessing to the nations. Father, thank you for this topic of agape love. And as we go deeper and deeper in this topic, I'm so excited, Lord, that this will really challenge everyone to renew their mind and go all out into the kingdom for the kingdom. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, that these truths are setting a life on fire, that a life will never, ever be the same again. We thank you. We praise you. In the glorious name of Jesus, amen and amen and amen. I mean, brother, thank you. Thank you, brothers and sisters. So we will see you tomorrow. God bless you all. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.